Today, folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. This is going to be a quick and easy one. It just uh, hit me uh, that a lot of people don't know how to do this. So if you have an IPv6 network, uh, some people have it and they don't even know it because it's on by default. But if you do have it and you do know you have it, you might want to connect to your HTTP servers or HTTPS servers, your web servers, using the IPv6 address when you're troubleshooting. So if I was to go and ping this IPv6 device on the network, you'll see the ping works just fine. Now if I go to good old edge and I just paste that IPv6 address and I hit enter, it does not work. So it's a really simple workaround. If you put a square bracket, paste, square bracket, enter, boom, works. That's it. So that's a quick and dirty tip and trick for less than a minute. Another IPv6 tip and trick for you. I just typed ipconfig and here you can clearly see that my machine has an IPv4 address and an IPv6 address. It's not an IPv6 video so just leave it at that. What I'm going to do now is a simple ping google.com and you'll see when I hit enter my system prefers IPv6 uh, as some systems do. Actually I can say most systems do. So the question is now I have both IPv4 and IPv6 loaded. How do you force your machine to IPv4? Well, with Windows, you simply do a dash 4, and now it pings the IPv4 address. See that? So just simple dash 4 on a Windows system will take care of that. Now let's go on to Traceroute. Let's go to google.com again. Whoops, google.com. I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to just get one or two, and I'm just going to break. So a couple of things. Number one. With traceroute, you might just want to just hit a traceroute enter, look at the options, because there's a couple of little things that I like to do all the time. The first thing is dash D for do not resolve the host name, because that just adds a whole lot of time. Uh, and it also clutters up your trace if you're running a Wireshark trace or a packet trace at the same time. Second thing is uh, change the maximum number of hops. So right now the maximum number of hops is 30. And for example, if I knew I only wanted to go four hops, because that's what I'm troubleshooting, I'll just do a dash H4. And then lastly is the host name. Enter. So now it's going to do the same trace route, only four hops, and it's not going to resolve the name. See how much quicker that was? So that's, that's a little tip. Uh, the other thing is, what if you want to do the same thing as the ping? You only want to do the IPv4. Uh, don't add it to the end. The, the host name has to be at the end. Again, this is on a Windows system, right? The Windows 10. So what you're going to do is before the host name, you're simply going to add dash 4, enter. And conversely, if you wanted to force it to IPv6, it would be a dash 6, as you see here. So that's it, folks. Might help you out. Have a good day. Bye for now.